my mother-in-law got us this little this little like scone thing it's pumpkin spice oh that's not good lighting got us this uh thing of scones it's little like pumpkin spice scones so we are making it today reagan absolutely loves to bake so we bake as much as we can don't we we love little baking activities right say yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> she loves little activities so we're doing this today just to keep her busy because she's a toddler and we need to keep her out of trouble don't we are you trouble yeah sometimes you are so we're making the scones right now it's funny because they always show like the cutest little picture on the front like you see how cute that is but then like when you mix it and you make it it's like oh just drop a heaping spoonful like this yes. just drop it in the spoonful I'm like okay so the balls and the pretty packaging, no, they don't look, mm -mm, no, that's not right, but it's okay. So we're making these right now. Um, Reagan is licking the batter and Scar Bear is taking her nap. I think she'll probably get up soon. But she's taking a nap. <laughs> she is like so passed out, she's exhausted. Um, so let's see, update on life, let's see, so, We've had um, several different families come down. You got more? Good. <laughs> We've had several family members come down and visit. Um, and then it's just been crazy. Last week, Scarly had her I'm first. Huh, you making scones? Yeah, I'm making scones. Wow. Are we going to make the glaze after they cook? Yeah, we gotta wait for the oven to preheat. See, once this goes beep, 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 then we can put the scones in and we can cook them in the oven, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so Scarlett had her first uh, hospital admission last week. Um, thankfully, uh, Tyler's parents were already coming down so they were able to watch Reagan. Uh, oh, look, it beeped. They were able to watch Reagan. Um, so they watched her while we were in the hospital for Scarly. Um, Okay, what are you doing? Like a seat. Uh, yeah. Like a seat. So with CF, um, they, so Charlie had had a stomach virus like right before. She and Reagan both had this really bad stomach virus, which like both ends they were like going and it was really, really bad. And we think what happened is she got a little dehydrated and um, so she started having um, like, I guess like, uh, poop filled up in her I all of her you. her little body. I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. I kiss you for real, but I have lipstick on. Um, bake for 15 minutes. Let's start it for 15 minutes. What? See what? Just... Trying to get her medicine figured out. You want to see the oven? I want to see the oven. Okay. <sighs> um. <sighs> toddlers can't like do anything uh got it okay you looking at it <laughs> so yeah so we did the mirror locks for a couple days and it just did not seem to see this is my life i can't get anything done i can't talk i can't do anything okay so what i was trying to say um i'm just gonna restart from the beginning because between the toddler and the dog and everything else so Scarly. She had to be admitted to the hospital um, last week uh, for a cystic fibrosis clean out, which means she pretty much had a really bad, not a bad, I guess it was, it was a mild to moderate um, buildup of stool or poop. Um, and so she had to be admitted so that she could be, have a supervised clean out. Um, so what happened was uh, I noted, we noticed her stomach was um, getting really distended and firm and then um she just wasn't acting right so like she didn't want to take her second nap and she would just bite me on it and um she normally just like crawls around this house like crazy and just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and what was happening was she like would sit there and just kind of scream and just kind of scream from room to room and wouldn't really uh crawl around like i'm used to her doing and so I noticed that she was doing that. We noticed her distended stomach. Um, and there was like some other little things too. And so I just felt like something was wrong with her. I felt like we needed to get in contact with her team and talk to them and figure out what was going on, whether 
you know, whether it was CF related, not CF related or whatever, we just, we needed to talk to them. So we did, we went in for a uh, x-ray last, I think it was last, two, no, not last, two Mondays ago. We went in for an x-ray and um, she did have a mild to moderate uh, buildup, which, you know, a lot of babies do have that. That's not uncommon. Um, but for CF, uh, for us, this one was CF related and not just a regular, like, uh, build up like uh, babies can get um, and so what happened was her and her sister both had had a stomach bug um, probably like a week before that and we think that she ended up getting a little bit dehydrated and so that started the build up and then on top of that we were in the midst of all kinds of different enzyme changes so scarlet having cystic fibrosis she takes enzymes with her food so that she's able to uh, digest her food and able to um, absorb the nutrients and everything uh, from your food otherwise for cf kids if they don't take enzymes um it just the food just goes straight through them they don't absorb it they don't take it in and also they can have really bad stomach pain because their body isn't um functioning correctly so um so with that we were in the middle of enzyme changes and just with everything going on she ended up getting uh backed up and so what the doctor suggested first was to do a at home miralax regimen miralax like anybody can take like after i gave birth to both my kids they gave it to me just you know in case i needed it and all of that so we started that and uh it wasn't really working it didn't it didn't work the way we needed to and i think for us being new cystic fibrosis parents it was hard to it was hard to figure that out and it was hard to figure out that what was going on because she was still going to the bathroom she was still pooping and everything like that it's just apparently what was happening is there was a ball of poop in her stomach and she was like the poop was going around it and and so so we noticed that it, the Miralax wasn't working. She still was really distended and the she still had uh, like uh, undigested food in her poop, which is a sign of uh, a sign that her enzyme dosage isn't correct and all of that. So I uh, the one day I was talking to Tyler and I just was like, you know, I just don't uh, feel I feel like something's wrong. Like I can just, there's something wrong. And we talked and he was like, well, how about we just wait till tomorrow to call and talk to the doctors. Let's just give it one more night on the Miralax and see if uh, we can um, do anything. Ray, again, can we please pick those up and put them away? Mm. Toddlers, pulling all the magnets off the thing and putting off the dishwasher and putting them on the ground. Let's pick them up. Let's clean up, okay? So um, I got through with him and everything and I just, I don't know, something in my gut, I just, I don't know my intuition I don't know what it was but I just was like something's not right like something is wrong with Scarlett like I there's just something wrong so I ended up calling and they told me that yes let's get her in immediately tomorrow let's get her in for an x-ray as soon as you can and then um let's you know just know that when you come in for an x-ray you know stick around the hospital because um we think that she might have to get admitted and we need to sit down and talk about that with her doctor and um and stick around so we can check the results of the x-ray before you leave the hospital because you know if it is still bad then you know we need to talk about admitting her um and so we went in for the x-ray and sure enough yeah it was still like there's a decent sized buildup. So we sat down and we talked with our, our doctor, which, you know, we love our doctor. She is a amazing pulmonologist. Um, and she is just really, she's really good at like listening to our concerns. She's really good at advice. And um, um, it's great to have a doctor that we trust and everything. So we sat down with her, we talked to her and she gave us the option of either we can, you know, try to do it at home or we could try and do a clean out in the hospital um supervised and everything um so when you do a clean out you literally are have to drink so much fluid and take like this medicine um to just push everything through and push it and push it and with her only being 10 months almost 11 months old she just is too young to do it at home which is our opinion um 
and that was our doctor's opinion as well i asked her okay which one would you choose which one do you think is ready for scarly yep they're cooking we gotta wait for them to cook and she said i think she needs to be admitted and um we both agreed with her because we just we knew the amount of fluid would be hard for us to take as an adult let alone to have a 10 month old take and we didn't want it to keep getting worse and worse and worse because then it just would be you know a harder situation to fix and everything like that so we ended up admitting her uh two fridays ago we had her um, admitted to the hospital and um thankfully tyler's parents like i said earlier they were already coming down so we just asked them if they could come down earlier and they were so sweet and kind and they did and they um watched reagan while we went back and forth at the hospital for scar bear and pretty much what they do is they give them uh it's called a uh, golightly or get her lightly or something like that and it's pretty much like this huge jug like a huge like i think it's like a gallon or two jug and um it's it's like it's what apparently what they give to you when you're gonna have a colonoscopy done or whatever and pretty much they um hooked her up to an iv they hooked her up to this medicine and they just let it flush through her body and um and yeah so they just let it flush through her and so we were there friday like midday we got admitted probably by that afternoon she was hooked up to some of it and i think by that evening she was hooked up to the um golightly stuff and um so then we let that run all day saturday all day sunday and finally i think sunday evening so that was about a little over 48 hours probably right around 48 hours of no food and just the iv and the meds um we were able to give her jello and apple juice and everything because she was starting to get cranky like I think it was Saturday night it was so rough because she was so hungry that she just was so mad. So, um, Mom. you need one of these? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we did that. And then on, um, we, uh, did more x-rays. We did like tons of x-rays throughout this whole thing just to check and see. And poor girl, she had to have an NG tube. And, okay, I'll give you half. And when you're all done, we'll get more, okay? Okay. Um, so poor girl had to have like an NG tube, which is like the tube that they put through your nose and um, they put down in your stomach so the medicine and everything goes straight to her stomach so she would hopefully pass it sooner and get through it sooner. Um, so we did that and it was a very long hospital stay. Like not long as in like time, it was only a couple days, but like it was hard because like when you have a 10 month old who just wants to move all the time, like that is difficult to try and keep her like calm and situated and hooked up to all this stuff. And then um, no food, like my girl loves food. So that was a little rough. Um, so thankfully his parents watched Reagan, we were with Scar Bear and um she was able to uh get that ball out and uh get through her which is such a fun process um but if you've ever done a clean out yeah it's wonderful so um we did that and then monday we were finally released and able to come home she got you know the npo was lifted she was able to eat food and everything um and you could tell by the time we left she was feeling so much better like our old scarly was back so Scarly is a very like happy, sweet, bubbly girl. And that's kind of how we knew something was off because she, her personality like switched. Like she was just not happy. She screamed all the time. She was fussy. And that's how I like knew something was really, really wrong with her. Cause she like, that's not Scarly. Scarly's always happy. So we were so happy that we admitted her. Like that was the right decision for her in her case and her situation. Um, and she is feeling so much better and we are home now so we came home monday we spent all of last week with his family because his family was here and we did a couple little fun things like going to the pool going to the aquarium but we didn't do anything like crazy because obviously scarly is you know was still recovering now she's like back and she's good but um ooh, look at these wow we got a little pool okay Yep, we got a little pool. Yummy. Yummy, that's a little pool. You wanna wear your mitts? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so she is recovered. 
and uh, she is feeling so much better. You're welcome. Okay, you're so welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. So she's feeling better and she's a lot happier and um, we're super happy that we had such a great team of doctors with us and everything during that admission. That was Scarlett's first admission um, to the hospital, which um, if you know anything about CF, that admissions are a pretty common thing. Um, every CF kid is different. But um, for most CFers, that's a pretty common thing um, for them. So first one's down. We were, we were kind of sad because we really, um, we were praying for 12 months with no admissions. Um, but we made it like 10 and a half months. So that was, you know, at least we made it that far without admissions. I know there's a lot of other CFers that are, you know, have to stay in the NICU right when they're born and everything. Um, so we were thankful and blessed that we could wait that long till she was admitted and thankful that it was just a clean out that, you know, just a couple days in the hospital. Really, we just needed there, we needed to be there for supervision and we needed to be there so that they could administer her medicine because it would have just been too difficult to get that young of a kid to drink the amount she had to drink. Like that thing was like this big, like it was like huge, like, yeah, like there was no way we could have done it ourselves. So, so yeah, so we're home now. Skyly's doing better. We had fun with the family. Um, before all this, my mom was down and um, Tyler's brother and um, sister-in-law were down. And so, yeah, so we have just been taking care of those kiddos. We had like, we've had so much family the past couple months. We've had sicknesses. And then as soon as we got out of the hospital last week, like his family was here and I was super sick. Um, I'm getting over it. And are you playing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting over my sickness. Um, Scarly is teething now. She is, I think, having more teeth come in. She's playing with the hand cells. So, um, yeah, so we're just trying to get back on our feet. We're just trying to get everyone healthy, happy, and just back together. And Tyler is back at work after 10 days off. So that's been a little rough on him, but we're just hanging out today. Um, we're just doing our little baking today. Um, just really just hanging out, just chilling, just trying to make it through the day, really. Um, so yeah, but that's the update on Scar Bear. I went off social media for like, I think I went off social media for a good month. Um, I just, I don't know, I just needed a, I just needed a break, like a mental break. Um, with everything going on with Scarlett, my kids were sick, Scarlett was in the hospital and just, Scarlett's medicines have just we just had a lot of adjusting to do and a lot of changes to do and so it's really been taking my full attention to just really care for her and take care of Reagan and do all that so yep that is the update on what we are doing where we're at what's going on and we have six weeks and then my parents are coming down to visit for Thanksgiving and that means we are only six weeks away uh, well, five, five and a half weeks away from Scarlett's first birthday. She's going to be one. So I have to get all of that figured out and figure out what we're going to do for her first birthday. Mia, it's okay. We have a bunch of people like um, out front. There's like pest control at someone's house. There's like mowers at someone's house. But yeah, so I got Halloween to figure out in a couple weeks. And then we have first birthday to figure out. And then Christmas. And then right after Christmas is Reagan's birthday. You couldn't wait to make the glaze? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well let's make the glaze. Even though you already ate one, huh? You just took it right off, huh? Yummy! Yeah, you're a riot. Okay, let's see what this says. Yeah, I'm a riot. You are a riot. You crack me up, let me tell you. You crack me up on a daily basis. What's that? What's on your finger? Look at that. I don't know what's on your finger. All right, let's see. Okay, glaze. Blend glaze mix with three to four of water or milk, teaspoons of milk, spread generously over them as they are warm. Okay, let's get a little bowl. Oh, we got a bowl? Okay, we got a glaze? Okay, let's cut it open. Can you be my pat pat? Thank you. Okay, let's do. We'll just do water. Real water. 
Let's mix. We gotta see if it's enough. Let's mix. Okay, you just touched your nose to it. Okay, let go. Let go. You just touched your nose to it, baby. Let me get you a new one. New one. Oh my yeah, new one. Feet up, up, up to the sky, sky, sky. Up to the sky, sky, sky. Okay, we don't touch it to our face. So let's try and mix a little bit. Mix. Mix it. Oh no, keep it. Joe, 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 Joe. Good job. You smell good? Okay, let me try. Let me try. Mama try. Ready again. Hey, guess what? You love me. You love me? Yeah, I love you. Oh, is that so delayed? Oh, is that so delayed? Love you. Want to kiss that off? Want to kiss that Are you icing a cupcake? That cool? Yeah, that's yummy. You gonna eat the rest out of here? Go ahead, play with it. So we have finished, and this is what they look like. Mm -mm. That's what they look like. I think she got it at World Market. The little pockets yeah. are at World Market, maybe? I think. So yeah, Sticky Fingers Bakeries. So I think it's at World Market. So if you want to make little pumpkin scones, they look pretty cool. You want to taste them? You want to see what they taste like? Cheers them. Get one. Get one and cheers it. No, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I figure like they'll be super good. They'll be super good. Sorry. <laughs> With um coffee. It'll be really good. But they're really good. Little like grains. Little like pumpkins go. Pretty good. She just likes the icing. Nope, nope, nope. That's dangerous. Scissors. They like with the toddler. What is it? Scissors. No, scissors. Dangerous. Those are so good, huh? You want a bite of mine? No. You don't like them? No. Why not? You're a good singer, huh? I'll have to see if I can find a recipe for this. Because you all know I love to cook. So, if I can find a recipe for this that's similar, like similar taste, I'll, um, I'll make it. I'll do a vlog and I'll make them. And I'll, um, 
share y'all the recipe because this would be perfect for fall just you know especially like Halloween night like having some scones and some coffee you know like while you're running around with your crazy kids because you know everyone's gonna need everyone's gonna need coffee on Halloween so yeah I'll see if I can find a recipe because that would be so fun to make some that are like similar Halloween someone's excited about Halloween do you like Halloween yeah what are you gonna be for Halloween this year you're gonna be a pumpkin yeah okay what no 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 Nothing with the toddler is sanitary. Like, literally nothing. Okay, all done. All done. All done. You play in the bowl, not on a spoon. Um, she keeps saying she wants to be a pumpkin because she's obsessed with Paw Patrol. And if you've seen, uh, like, Paw Patrol, uh, Marshall, there's, like, a little book and stuff. And I think there's an episode, my husband said, or he's a pumpkin this year. So, Reagan wants to be a pumpkin. So, I think I saw this really cute dress on H&M. So, I think I might get that for her and... Uh, get her some cute little shoes or i'm gonna take her to walmart and get her a little outfit but i don't know i haven't decided but yeah oh are we helping so i think she might be a pumpkin but yeah if i can find the recipe if i can find a similar recipe i'll do it for y'all because it is so good like they're actually like way better than i thought they were gonna be hmm are you helping hmm 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 so that is our little thing for today. We made scones. Gave you a little update on what's going on with Scarbear. Yeah. And otherwise, I need to do laundry. Reagan peed in the bed last night. So I need to do laundry today. Um, and yeah. Take care of my kiddos. Do laundry. Feed them. Run around like crazy with them. And just play. Oh.